Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to Team Lawrence. I'm your host, Pat Brock. We're here at Buckhorn United Methodist Church doing something that only family would do. Uh, we're here for the Emory Davis family fundraiser that was put on by uh, Principal Reed Waldrop here. And you know, this is a very, uh, it's, I think it's a very, has been a very trying time for our district and for our district family. But this right here is that proof of family sticking and coming together. How are you doing, Mr. Walter? I'm good. How are you, Pat? Good to see you. Good to see you. And listen, we know that it's been very trying for you, mm -hmm. uh, for you personally, for you professionally. Uh, talk to us a little bit about why you wanted to do today mm -hmm. and why it's important even so today. Uh, a couple months ago when Emory became ill and went into ICU, I knew he had uh, three kids in college. Yeah and I knew the financial burden. It looked like his, his care was going to be long term. So we wanted to do something to try to bridge the gap between possible his last paycheck. We knew he was going to be out a long time right. recovering and when some of his insurance kicked in and that, that was the original thought. Let's help him bridge the gap between paychecks. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we, we started organizing this uh, middle of August mm -hmm. probably and uh, we've worked toward today for the last couple months. Yeah. So. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, to, I mean, to continue this, you know, with, with Emory's passing, I mean, mm -hmm. it has, it has really been very difficult. It has been. It's hard to even put <clears throat> that into words yeah. and to still see the support Absolutely. that uh, you received and that their families received. Talk to us about the people out here and them coming together for it, such a time as this. It, it's been absolutely amazing. I mean, God is good. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's all I can say. But uh, when word started getting out that we were going to do this, uh, just the community support. You know, we've had several churches make donations. Every 100% of the food today was wow. donated uh, by my staff, mm -hmm. by the community, by, by different people. I've had people as far north as North Atlanta send me right. money for this, and it's, it's just amazing. And, and it's, just, it's reassuring that there are so many good people, not only in our community, but in right. surrounding communities. And, and to do this, and, and now in memory of, of Emory, yeah. it, it's just a blessing. It really is. And you know, you and I were talking about off camera about how emotional this is. Yes. And it truly is. I mean, <clears throat> the joy of the Lord is our strength, mm -hmm. but the emotional aspect of it is Emory's not here with us. It is. That's tough. You know, when we start, when we first started organizing this back in middle August, we thought he would be here. Right. We thought maybe right. there was some way that he could be here and at least see yeah. what's going on. But. Uh, you know, things changed. God had a different plan. Mm -hmm. Emory received his healing on, on not on this earth, he but did. in heaven. And uh, this has been very therapeutic for my staff because yeah. Emory, Emory was a very loved man he on was. our staff. I mean, just, just uh, he's been there for 18 years. So anybody that's there now has worked with Emory. Right. And uh, he, he is missed greatly. So to be able to do this for Stacy and, and her children, mm -hmm. it's just such an honor to be able to do this for their family. And you know, we, we sometimes will never know the reach that we have. Mm -hmm. the impact that we have uh, left on people's lives. And what Emory has done is he have, has made an imprint mm -hmm. in so many of Absolutely. our lives. And so, you know, we count it as a district an honor to be able to show this honor in memory of Emory and also to be a blessing to his family. And coming together, you know, when you even go back, you know, when the pandemic first started, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. our district had to really work to come mm -hmm. together yeah. for the yep. greater good. Yep. And we already know that, you know, as a principal, as a leader, you were, this wasn't in your uh, job description of, no, of what to no. expect this is, and uh, how to handle that. <clears throat> this has added, <laughs> this has had a lot of work, not only mm -hmm. to my plate. Uh, we, we have a committee of people that, that's kind of the core of this, but I mean, look around, there's, yep. I can't count them all. <laughs> I mean, there's students, there's t several churches here represented. I mean, We've got companies that have donated yeah. their equipment, their trucks, their refrigeration trucks. I mean, it's just hundreds of people yeah. in our community and surrounding communities have come together. And it's yeah. just, so yeah, this has been stressful, but I've had a lot of good help. And you know what, Reed, you have handled this quite smoothly. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I have. <laughs> we just want to let you know uh, publicly, Mr. Waldrop, how much we appreciate you. We have definitely seen your faith in action. We've definitely seen you have to step up to the plate, even in your darkest hour. Mm -hmm. You've been able to do that and be a champion for all of us. And so we appreciate you at West Lawrence at Middle School, all of the donors, all of the churches, the individuals that have come together mm -hmm. for this event. And so thank you. Thank you, Pat. Ladies and gentlemen, this this is Principal Reed Waldrop, West Lawrence Middle School, 6th grade academy. When you talk about the connections that have been made through the life and legacy that Emory Davis has lived, you've got my friend over here and my colleague Jeremy Matthews. Um, Jeremy, 
your relationship with Emory yes. goes way back. If you would well, talk to us about Really that. back when we were young guys, you know, we played a lot of softball and stuff together. Mm -hmm. Even when we uh, got out of high school, he was about two months older than me. We were both 53, so mm -hmm. we've been around a long time. But then working together, we coached football for 10 or 12 years together. And we're both connections teachers at, mm -hmm. out at the middle school. I taught outdoor ed, you know, and he was he was in there with me. But uh, he's also deacon in our church and oh, wow. coached my son in soccer, you know, and his boys were my son's best friends. So it's just oh, been wow. a really hard time, you know, for, for your me, whole losing family. a friend yeah. like that for the whole family. Yeah, they were close personal friends. He's a deacon at our church, yeah. and you know, so it's just and you know. Just, Jeremy, when you think about it, or, yeah. or when all of this, when, when he passed away, I'm quite sure that your family went through so many changes yeah. with this. It, as well. it's just it's just bad. You know, you just think it's kind of like a bad dream, and yeah. you know you're gonna he's gonna wake walk up. up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he's an easygoing guy. Yeah. You know, the building could be burning down around him, and he's he'd be cool. like, oh yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Let's get everybody out. You we know, got that this. Was we got this. Just a, re a really great guy, and it's just a sad time for us all. And but for, maybe we can help out the family. For you know, sure, for sure. And you have been here early this morning. Right, right. Hey, I had to get here at 3.30, but I didn't have to go into school today. Ah, there it is. You got a little trade-off <laughs> right, here. I got a little, little, little break. Maybe I can go home and take a nap after we get done. So 3.30, you get out here, and you all get these coals going. Right, that's right. Mr. Passmore, Tim Passmore, you know, mm -hmm. he's kind of in charge and Greg Paul, though. So I was just an Indian. They're telling me what to do. <laughs> they were the chiefs. They were the chiefs. Right. But you know what? A lot of heart and love goes into that's, this. That's it? correct. That is correct. And Emory was just a great personal close friend. You know, it's just a hard time. So. And to do this, this fundraiser. I mean, you guys are making 1,100. Right. Or that's filling right. 1,100 that's right. orders. That's right. That's right. So a yeah. lot of chickens. To and you know what, uh, Jeremy? This, you know, we often emphasize about Team Lawrence and being a family. That's right. That's right. And, and it is. Have it you is. seen this manifest oh, yeah. itself right here before you can your see eyes? It from the superintendent on down, you know, yeah. to teachers and uh, spouses and everything mm -hmm. else are out here helping yeah. out. So it's a, and former teachers, you know, For sure. former, You've got former former administrators, Mr. Waldrop, you know, from back in the right. day was an administrator so and so yeah. thank you i mean i know that you cherish the relationship right. you have right. the the you know the example that emory set he did for you to follow for your your kids and your family right. and so we just appreciate you coming out right. here we appreciate everything that you do right good deal good deal well thank you guys too for thank you coming out we've got our former superintendent with us mr jerry hatcher how are you doing sir i'm good today how about you doing well you know sir you have done so much for our community and you're still serving so much for this district and now here you are talk to us about what doing this means to you well i, I was raised in this community and so i belong here you kind of take uh, ownership of it a little bit mm -hmm. or, or part of it and one great thing about our community when there's a need mm -hmm. arises people will just step up and you can see from the volunteers we have, uh, you got another retired superintendent, Mr. Larry Waldrop. I said that's how he walked out. So you actually got three superintendents oh, out here. Oh wow! We and need so, to chat with uh, him as well. Which is Mr. Waldrop's daddy. Oh wow! And so he was superintendent a few years, and so uh, but it just the community comes together and support. So uh, it's a it's a sad situation, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm glad that the community comes together like this and supports somebody. For sure, you know, and we do. We quite often emphasize that as a community and as a district that we're family. Yep. And even in our in our darkest and hardest times, coming together is so necessary. Yes, yes. And so you've got your crew out here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell us what you're doing out here, what you're part of in giving back. Well, Mr. Mr. Waterett called me and he said, would you do the sauce for me? Yeah. And uh, this sauce recipe is actually my father, who was an ag teacher and actually was an associate school superintendent for a while, but this mm -hmm. is sauce. And so they asked me if I do the sauce, so that's what I'm doing. And so you brought the sauce. That's right. That's <laughs> right. So I got plenty of help over here, and we mix it up and sauce them for about five or ten minutes. Mm -hmm. And so, but that's that's the recipe. Well, we appreciate you so much. You know, is there any last words or things, anything you'd like to say to the community out there? Because, you know, uh, since COVID, or we've had so many things that have happened that have really been kind of hard. It, a little it, bit difficult, would I, you say? Yes. As a former superintendent, I can tell you, it, it, if I was there, it would be some difficult decisions to make. Right. 
Um, and so, but we've, we've gone through it. Uh, I think they made some good decisions and it's, it's nice that we can get together like this mm -hmm. and try to support mm -hmm. each other in times of need. That's right. And um, I knew Mr. Davis, he was actually a friend of mine. I knew when we hired him, he came highly recommended from mm -hmm. somebody from the personnel part of it. And so he'll, he'll be our loss, but hey, look at the support he has out here. Look at the support. So we're still standing behind his family in honor of him. Yep. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rural, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. You've got miles and miles of grass to mow. So you're going to need a machine built to perform day in and day out season after season. You're going to need a Gravely built to mow the distance. Find your new Gravely mower at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. You know, ladies and gentlemen, when you're talking about a family coming together, Lawrence County School District and our community is doing just that. As you look behind me, you see so many people that are part of our district that are working diligently to make sure that everything is running smoothly. We got my girl Timot Wright with me. Holly Passmore, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Doing very well. Now, Holly, listen here. When you first, uh, when you t were in the, it was in the works about what you were going to do. Yes. We all had all intents and purposes that Emory was going to live. Yes. And so now here it is. Everything that we're doing is in memory of him to support his family. That's right. Talk to us a little bit about that from your perspective, okay? Well, if, if you knew Emory, you knew that he would do anything for anyone to help them. And their family was a very servant type family. And what we wanted to do to honor his family and honor what he does has done for Lawrence County Schools is to help provide for them. Um, the three, his three kids, Emily, Evan, and Colton are all in college right now. Um, Stacy was also out of work sick when Emory was out, so they've missed a lot of work. And we just wanted to do what we know that Emory would do for all of us. And look at that. I mean, you know, and it has all come together. Yes. Tell me how did you all bring this together? Because you've got so many different people, so many different entities, so many different uh, donations that came here, there, and everywhere in support. Well, let me just say that <laughs> Reed Waldrop was behind all of this. He got this started. He got the um, community and the county schools behind it. He got so many donations um, for today, and he um, got all the volunteers to help us today. Yeah, and for you, how does it feel for you today? It's an overwhelming feeling, mm -hmm. um, but the, I just know that ha the Davis family would be so appreciative, or is so appreciative of this, and um, Amanda and I have spent a lot of time with the Davis family, sitting yeah. beside uh, them at the soccer games mm -hmm. and all kind of right. uh, games throughout their our children's years in school, and um, anything we can do to honor Wow. Emory Davis is what we want to do. And here it is right here. Thank That's you right. so much, uh, Holly, for all that you do, all that you thank not just you. contributed today, but what you give back. We appreciate well, you. you. Absolutely love in action. Thank you. Holly Passmore, ladies and gentlemen. This is Amanda Waldrop right here with us, of course, also the wife of Reed Waldrop. And so you have had such a strong connection with the Davis family. Talk to us about your, your friendship. Well, my daughter played soccer for West Lawrence High School and um, she actually graduated with both of the Davis boys, Evan and Colton, and then played soccer with Emily, um, the oldest child. So from the time that they've been playing soccer at the school, they have um, always maintained a close relationship. So from there, we were able to establish a friendship with the Davis kids, but also with Stacy and Evan. 
um, I mean, excuse me, Stacy and Emery. And Emery also works at, worked at West Lawrence Middle School with my husband. And he and my husband had a very unique relationship. Mm -hmm. um, they were able to just nonchalantly have conversations, not necessarily about school, but just about right. life in general. Mm -hmm. And they could vent to one another right. and just share what kind of struggles they might have been facing mm -hmm. and just have that that friendship but also right. a business relationship right still knowing those boundaries and respecting one another that's each exactly other's craft. right and so you know this has been very difficult for us all yes and so now you know we're doing this in memory of Emory to help his family how does it feel for you Amanda to be able to take part in something like this well, it's always been an honor to be a part of a community that comes together in times of hardships. So right now for me, it's an honor to be able to serve back to my community, but also to be able to um, have a part in helping people that I really care about and that I love and consider not only to be my friends, but to be a part of my family. Mm -hmm. um, that family is very precious to mine. And um, I do consider it an honor to be able mm -hmm. to help in any way that I possibly can. And you know, we're just appreciative, appreciative of you and everyone out there for what you do. And it's like, and, I, and we know it does give new meaning when you're very, when you're close. Uh, and so it's been a hard time for us, uh, I think as a district family and as a community, but seeing you all come together, seeing you come together and doing what you do for one goal. Yes, absolutely. To bless that family is pretty special. Absolutely. The Stavises are, um, are very, very special to our community. Um, as Ms. Passmore said earlier, they um, are servant people. They yep. love to serve and help people. So it really is our community's honor to yep. be able to do something for them. Very good. Thank you so much, Amanda. Thank you. Amanda Waldrop, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, being here today to show honor to Emory Davis and his amazing family, to have his beautiful wife right here who has truly been a beacon of light to all of us is such an honor. And we got the crew back here. Hey, everybody. Show Stacy. Yeah. You know, this is family. This is what it's about. Family coming together to support one another. And Stacy, I we're so grateful that you were able to even come out to just partake in what we're doing today and just to um, for you to be in our presence. We're so thankful. Um, how does it feel for you being able to come here and seeing so many people that love you, love your husband, love your kids come together like this? I just can't thank these people enough. There's no words to express my thankfulness and gratefulness to this community that has just reached out and just poured their love upon us. Mm -hmm. um, from, from day one, I've just felt so much support and encouragement and love, and it just overwhelms my heart. And I really, I just, I'm speechless. I really don't have the words, but I just, I love this community. I love these people that have, that have come together and have done this today. And I just really appreciate it. Me and the kids both really appreciate everything that's been done and the love that y'all had for for Emory for these 22 years that he's been with the school system and I just we're just so thankful thank you so much for what y'all have done I mean Stacy you all have poured out so much of yourselves I mean you have all your husband you've always had a servant's heart you've always shown love and I can tell you personally I remember when I first met you you were just so happy hey you told me who you were and how and it was and you know knowing that our kids were playing soccer and it's mm -hmm. like we connected that way and I think through the years we've always I think have been a, an encouragement to one another whether we realize it or not mm -hmm. but just being able to show that love and the relationship that your husband has built the foundation that he's laid and the legacy that he's leaving behind you know, it can make you speechless. Mm -hmm. And so we all are just honored to be able to be here with you today to give back to your family because you've given out so much. Thank you so much. Again, I thank you for each and every one of y'all and the love and support you've given us. Thank you. Always and forever.